Ordinary physics ordinarily is a flatland physics in which you do the physics of any particular level. What we're saying, what represents homokinetic physics associated with that is the up-down processes which bind the levels. Okay, the up-down implies thermodynamics among other things. Okay, but so that what we're saying is that what makes the universe of processes is the combination of flatland, there's no insult or anything intended, and the up-down processes, and that forms the that forms a complete unity. And we're re responsible for trying to make sure that the up-down are understood as well as the flatland. Atomisms or unit atomisms. These are these are atomistic like entities which is small and relatively common among each other. Okay. Among each other. And these are engaged in interactions. Which means in the simplest form that they're basically colliding with each other because they there are things bringing them together and pushing them apart. So they're constantly involved in that kind of a game. All right? And since this game is going on through the entire group of such atomisms, they thereby they thereby constitute a collective, a collective or a near continuum of all of these players. And that somehow, by however that game is limited from the outside, will constitute the system. The system will have many interacting parts okay, which perform certain for certain continued forms and functions and they are bounded from below. Below they are they are constituted by the atomisms. Above they are constituted by whatever bounds the collective. Okay? If it is if it's all completely self contained, the same forces which are involved in creating the atomisms also represent the bounds. And so you have a continued process of this sort going together with something bounding and pulling them together. Okay? So that's the, that, that shows fundamentally the nature of the micro, that is the small at the atomistic level, and the macro, which is the collective. See, so as you see immediately in any system, there is no way that you can avoid at least having two levels. You'll have a micro level of atomisms and a macro level of the collective. Okay? At a next level, that macro level of the collective may be a micro level for a next level system. At the same time, not only might, but will be, except at the same time, the micro level of the atomism in its interior is itself likely to be a collective of things at a still small level. So this goes this goes from what I just depicted as its geometry but also its physics. See, it goes level by level, which expands as one goes out. Okay. So ordinarily what is studied physically at any one level, like commonly you would call flatland physics, see, is a bunch of atomistic like units, atomisms, okay. It bound into a collective. Whereas so, you also are dealing with kind of a verticality you can study. Well, the, the, the thing that we specialize in, which represents a homeokinetic fix, is whereas most physicists ordinary uh, ordinary concerned with dealing with one level. You know, you walk up to a mm -hmm. physicist and you ask him or her and you say, what do you do? And he or she would say, I'm a stellar physicist. And that means that they study stars, the interaction among stars. Okay? Or it says I'm a nuclear physicist, means he studies the interaction at that level. Okay? Whereas our concern is for homokinetic physics is to study the up down processes, how they connect, how the flows, et cetera, are involved in flows of energy and matter are involved in going up and down. It's very important to understand that the that the purpose of the acting 
and the action going on in the stage, okay, is to tell the story of the collective. Why are we sitting here to watch this play going on? I mean, we're here just to watch some random foolish motion which has no, and no, no, no associative quality? And of course the answer is no, you know, okay? Unless maybe if you, you know, all right, we, won't, we, won't, we won't become judges of art at the moment. All right. So over here what I'm saying is, the thing we have to understand is what is the collective, okay, of behavior which you find from the actors acting, which is all, which I mean is all physics, because the action going on is basically all collisions and, uh, and transports, okay? See, and what is the collective going on, okay? Well, the collective going on on the left-hand side is, quote, to form a gas, okay? And you say, what's the big deal on that? Well, I will tell you what are the collective properties of that. Okay, which will happen because of the fact that they are sharing through their sharing through their conservations and forming these collectives. Okay? The sharing of motion through that that process that you see there gives them all the same temperature. And what that means is as a result of playing that game, they all have essentially the same energy. Okay? Now, if you want to fight them, or whatever you want to do with them, you will find out that you now have to face them as a collective. You are no longer dealing with them as one single atomism, or a bunch of separate atomisms. All of a sudden they are a collective. How do I know that? Somebody can take that as a hose out of that balloon, okay? or out of that automobile and point it at you and blow you away. These are collective processes that emerge out of the uh, out of the atomisms. And each time that the atomisms are internally complex, then the collective of processes that emerge is more complex. That is what a homeokinetic physics is about. That complex of processes that emerged out of the complex interior atomistic processes.